Good morning, folks. Just spend a moment taking in the plasma filament dance and the corona visible around the limbs because there's a lot to say today. Some of it is critical and you'll need your eyes and ears on point right now. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star. Top right, you'll find the only action of the day. The bending of umbral field loops in the corona occurred in the hours after a small C-class solar flare erupted from the departing active region. Goodbye kiss over the limb. In the hours afterward, the magnetic structure above it changed completely. It was beautiful to watch and will be peaceful to endure as it was at the limb and did not even produce a CME. We're going now to Hawaii, where the data just started making me angry. Not the videos, though. USGS is crushing that one. So this was yet another volcanic eruption at Kilauea. It was yesterday, and that explosive eruption registered at 5.6, making it the largest one yet. You'll recall we spent 12 days at 5.0 or lower in the volcanic eruptions. We've surged since then up 0.1 magnitude at a time, and 5.6 would be the top mark so far for the explosive eruptions. However, I awoke this morning to find the largest volcanic eruption in Hawaii yet had been turned into an earthquake, not a volcanic eruption, and was downgraded to 5.4. So just to be sure you know why I'm angry and what our government says officially, this was a 5.4 earthquake that sent an ash plume 10,000 feet into the sky, not a volcano eruption. Yeah. On to some quick hit stories. U.S. climate report for May is out. We were indeed well above average as a country, and it was a big shift from the seventh coldest April ever, coldest on record for the Central Corridor. But indeed, that cold shifted across the planet, leaving the U.S. very warm indeed. Up next, we're using an old ESO animation here, zooming from Earth to the Centauri system. Proxima is technically the closest, but the Alpha pair is the visible one, and it is indeed a pair. 80-year orbit to the two, Proper motion combined with parallax here and today, Chandra is showing off its ability to zoom in well enough to put distance between the pair, capturing both of their X-ray signatures. Up next, hurricanes around the world are moving more slowly, sadly not getting any weaker, and this gives them more time to drop major rainfall and flood conditions. That is not a good trend, and it is global. Link below to an interesting article and video on ENA production, how solar wind interacts with the outer region to neutralize and return the matter. On to the top stories. The Little Ice Age was likely 1 to 1.5 degrees colder than today, and while that seems minuscule, it is much more than the cooling shift currently believed to have existed. It generally falls outside the accepted discourse to suggest that the sun can outforce human pollution in a matter of decades. Doesn't really fit the message. Up next, a terrific study on fracking-induced quakes. I'll cut through the details, and you can find the link just to say that they have determined steel girder bridges are at risk from fracking-induced seismic activity, only a matter of time before a collapse. Lastly, folks, mysterious G objects pepper the inner galaxy. They behave like stars, but they are enormous, distended features. And as if that wasn't amazing enough, they have been mostly veiled by dust, the great actor in the cosmos and a key element in our covert matter hypothesis. In this case, the dust hid the true nature, size, and energy of the objects they are scrambling to explain, while I can't wait to dig more into how the dust pulled a Houdini on everyone. Folks, there are only 10 VIP tickets left for OTF 2019. Pre-registration for all tickets ends in two weeks, so if you know you're coming, please do not pay more for your ticket after pre-registration closes. Get it in now. I want to see you out here in the desert. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.